Hey guys, it's the Craftinista here, and today I'm going to show you how to make little Barbie doll um, cereal boxes. The materials you'll be needing for this project are a pen, scissors, a glue stick, just a piece of cardboard. You can use any cereal box cardboard or anything like that. But I like using just like white or just a normal color, or you can like paint it if you want. But I'm just using this white piece of cardboard. And newspaper ads. I recommend using grocery stores like Dylan's. Okay, so to start, you are going to get your newspaper ad and you are going to cut out. I like to look for pictures of different cereals. So I'm going to use Honey Bunches of Oats. And there I have it. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my piece of cardboard and set my honey bunches of oats in the very center. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to trace around it. Now you might want something flat. I'm just going to trace it. And I'm just going to trace around it. So I have my trace here. And next I'm going to make a tab. So there you have a tab. And then you're going to make another tab on the other side. Just like that. And then you're going to take your pen, your Sarah box, and then make a tab at the top, a tab at the bottom. Next, you're going to take it, and you're going to take your pen, and you are going to make another tab that's the same size as this. So well, you know, you can trace it like you did last time. So you have this, okay. And then you make another tab on this side, another tab down here, make this a tab right here, this little piece in between those tabs. You're gonna make that a tab the inside of the box so it won't look sloppy. So there is your cereal box. And then you're going to take your scissors and you're gonna cut it. Okay, so there is your cereal box structure. And what I like to do is I like to indent it with my fingernail so it will fold, folding in the sides. Okay, so you have this side folded in, and that side folded in, so you fold in that. Then you're gonna fold in the middle. And then you're gonna cut this little piece and this little piece. Not off. You're gonna cut it so you can end it like this. Then you're going to fold it in until you have your basic structure. Next, you're going to hot glue it together. Okay, I have my hot glue gun out and it's completely heated up. And you're going to take your design. You're going to glue. Just gonna put a line of glue and make sure you be careful with a hot glue gun because hot glue guns are hot and you can hurt yourself with the glue really badly. I've done it lots of times before. You're gonna glue that side. And then you're gonna take these tabs, these little tiny tabs we made earlier, like that. You're gonna put a little dab of glue on that. See, I'm gonna make this side the bottom. So you're gonna wanna, you always wanna glue the bottom first. I'll show you why in a little bit. Okay, so you're gonna glue the bottom first. I'm gonna glue that side down with that tab. So it's done. Take this, align, fold it down, and glue. And just let it dry. I'm gonna use this napkin to wipe it off. Say this in the materials, but this is completely optional. You're gonna need, I'm gonna take a napkin, I'm gonna rip off pieces. I do this with mine, and this will make your cereal box way more. I'm just gonna crumple up pieces and put them inside my box. And the top, you're gonna put it inside. I like using nail file to put it in, but I'm just gonna use my scissors. You can also use tissues or toilet paper or whatever you wanna use, just as long as you put it in. Napkin is the 
heaviest, it seems like. So that's what I like to use. So, you know, just stuff it until it's completely full. So it'll just make it way more. Maybe, maybe stand up. These don't stand up very well. There you go. It's completely full. So next you're gonna take your cock glue gun. Dab of glue on this like we did last time. Glue it shut. And then just like it in this. That glue on the top. And now we have the box. It's completely glued shut. Now I'm going to glue this. And to do that, I'm just gonna get the glue strip. And you're going to just glue it on. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue on it. It looks nice. The sides and back aren't covered, which is why I said you might want to just a basic color instead of having a bunch of different colors and stuff. Now you have it, and now you have your cereal. I'm really craving some cereal. Let's just get a bowl. Hmm, what kind? So many different ones to choose from. Such a hard decision. Fine. Frosted Flakes. I'll just pour some. Well, better get the milk. Aw, oh, darn. I'm all out. John, go get more milk. Do I have to? How about tomorrow? I guess I'll just have to save you for later make lots of other kinds of boxes and different foods with the same technique using all these different ads. For example, for a pizza box, you do the exact same thing for a cereal, but you make this front a square. Thanks for watching. Bye.